I hear tings. Ting, 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 ting. Ting, ting. I just want to see, make sure that the uh, stream is working over on pcsn.tv slash live. Just want to make sure that uh, on yep. pcsn.tv slash live. Sounds like it. All right. That sounds uh, like it's working there, so sweet. That's a good <laughs> good sound. Sweet. <coughs> Hopefully I can keep this cough under, under check today, huh? <coughs> All right, you ready? Nah. I mean, yes. I guess I should also hit record here, too. Huh? Well, that's a good good thing to start with. All right. I'm Drew Mendel from the Illegal Curve Hockey Show on TFN 1290 in Winnipeg. You're listening to the Jet Hockey Podcast on WinnipegWhiteout.com. And welcome to the WinnipegWhiteout.com Jets Hockey Podcast, episode number 39 from Studio A. I, of course, am Marshall, along with that guy over there. Yeah, that guy who uh, seemed to be on screen when you were talking there. I guess that uh, auto switch they were testing out there uh, wasn't working so well. No, no, I'm uh, I'm actually doing uh, manual switching here on, oh, right, uh, right, on the right, right, right. Hangout. Yeah, that's why. That's so, why. Okay. So yeah, because my yeah. camera is hooked up to yours, and your and your camera. Yeah, so it should actually be the opposite. Hooked up so. to mine, but I'm actually manually all right controlling them uh, well, ac- across right now. So, but well, you want to show yourself to everybody? That might be watching live. Look, look, I have a name bar this week. It's it's still sh- showing me. It is, yeah. yes. But you're also not watching the broadcast. Don't worry. Uh, I'm I'm just trying to get the grasp of this, you know. Um. Well, because your your isn't your. Laptop no, no. is not running. Your laptop's not running through. Go to pcsn.tv slash live. But the, the bottom part where it's the green box around whoever's live and who's on there has, yeah. hasn't moved from... And it will always show thing. you on that because you're running through me. You're running through this computer and the computer for this is where all our studio audio goes through. We're not auto-switching between the two of us. Well, I understand the auto-switching. I just thought all there right. was manual switching. I am manually... <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> and uh, it's a, that's a new record for me getting under Marshall's skin. What? How, how far in the show are we? Oh man, we're like barely two minutes in here. All right. Yeah. All right. Anyways, yeah. So uh, if they only play hockey, maybe I'd stop annoying you so much. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt. And we'd actually have something worthwhile to talk about as well too. So today's show, of course, brought to you by the guys over at OffsideGear.com. Fifteen percent off of your order. Just use promo code Canada W W. Of course, as in Winnipeg, and of course, um. Jeff, that guy over there sporting the uh, popular Portage and Cane t-shirt uh, from OffsideGear.com as well. In Dynamo Mints colors. Uh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we also want to hear your thoughts. Give us a call toll-free, 855-321-JETS, 855-321-5387. We want your opinion on the lockout, the Jets, the overseas players, all that kind of stuff as well, too. We're not taking calls live this show. Um, but, uh, next week, next Tuesday, one week from now, actually, if we go exactly a week from now, we'll be 90 minutes in to the drunk hockey show, the second one, which means we'll be a bunch of beers in and probably pretty messed up. My brain says yes, but my liver says no. Oh, no. Well, and we have some exciting guests confirmed for that episode too. Yes. would you like to tell our listeners I, I would love to because you know because you've been working at I've, actually I've, doing them yeah I've, yeah you know what i figured it was about time to get them locked up and, and locked down there so um you may or may not know our our, our first guest i'm announce here but uh you probably have uh, heard rumblings about a recent video on youtube uh, which we'll link to in the show notes of course um and that is a, a video by jeremy larder of rear gear productions <coughs> You said rear. I did, and I said gear. Uh huh. And I still have this damn cough. But anyways, yeah. that's a other story. Um. Yeah. So a very funny video. Uh, by his uh production team there explaining the uh the lockout situation and the negotiation process with a case of beer. And if you haven't seen it, make sure to check out the show notes. Uh, of course, we'll have that video clip play live for you. Uh, 
during Drunk Hockey Show next week as well, but check it out beforehand so you know our guest, and, and he should be a, a welcome addition to the show, and I'm expecting a capable drinker. Yeah, I would suspect so. Anybody that can actually explain the hockey lockout and the CBA using beer, um, we may have to do that live as well, too, to see uh, see how well that works or doesn't work as well. well. At least with us, he'll get a full case. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he and, won't, and, we won't have to share it with And anybody. likely a little bit more, of course. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, We'll give a shout-out now to our, our, our partner with that, with uh, Sleeman Breweries. Uh, of course, uh, Jeff from Sleeman there, uh, hooking us up and all of our, our guests with beer as well, too. So um, that's right. We want you, you have a week to go out and buy your beer provided that you're over the age of majority or dr legal drinking age in your province or state where, or country, wherever you happen to be. Um, in Alberta and in Manitoba, it's 18. That's right. We start them young. Yep. Uh, and uh, almost everywhere else, it's 19. Um, not sure whether they're smarter or not there, but uh, whatever. Anyway. Well, it's, it's 18, we, 18 in Quebec, too. Let's not forget those. Uh, yeah, come on. It's 14 in Quebec. Yeah. But, I mean... Pretty much the, the simple rule of thumb is you go 19, 18, 19, 18, 19, 18. And then after that, it just is a little bit messed up like all the people that we love so much out on the rock. Go Ice Caps. Yeah, no doubt. It's about the best place to get some hockey right now. Anyways. Although, of course, Charlie, Detroit sucks. I'll give you that one as well, too. Uh, we have a couple of other guests, too, coming at you next week. I, I'll be and interested to know if we see their faces. It will be. And I mean... You know what? The this is a, a ninety percenter. Uh, we haven't got the hundred percent confirmation yet. Just working out the details with them, but they are are very excited to do it, and um, we're happy to uh, to respond to our, our request for it. And they are. What did they end up finishing in the uh, the, the top fan poll? I don't remember. But they're in the top ten. We know that. We'll find out the details for next week. And that of course is uh, the two spandex loving. Fans <clears throat> out of our, uh, well, you know what? I'm not really going to say it's a, a liked city, but Vancouver. Of course, we're talking about the Green Men. I like the city. I'm not a fan of the team at all. That's, yeah, that's for sure. Still, you know what? Vancouver, Detroit, and, and Edmonton uh, handed us a few uh, bad memories in the Jets 1.0. So, uh, not going to say a fan of, of the team, but a fan of the fans. And. They really don't get any bigger or crazier or uh, tighter clothed than those two guys. Right, and the, the green men, of course, are the Vancouver Canucks. Yeah, uh, so that should be a, a fun pair of guys to have on the show as well. So uh, looking forward to this one. Like I said, my liver is not, but... Uh, I'm looking forward to Wednesday. I can't wait to get into work. <laughs> should be a, I, I'm should just, be a fun time. Anyways, I, I'm just hoping, and I've got a good line on uh, getting my 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. portion of my day covered. So well, uh, hopefully you can that, make that. Make, hopefully you can make, make that happen more. for sure. Um, so, of course, Drunk Hockey Show next show is next Tuesday, one week today, November 13th, 7.30 Central Time. That's 6.30 Mountain, 8.30 in the center of the universe. And then do the rest of the math for uh, across the country there. Yeah. Anyways. Um, and, of course... One plus one is two. Yeah. Anyways, uh, two yeah, it's Newfoundland that always four. throws it off with that extra half hour time, uh, but we do love everybody. I just get lost in Regina because they don't swap time. I don't ever know if they're ahead or behind or front or around. I know it's like it's like when I go. Just really never know what's going on in that green province. It's like when I go to Hawaii and I just don't know whether I'm four hours or three hours. I wonder know? if those guys are Rider fans too in Hawaii. No, no, the Green Men. Oh, you know, I was kind of wondering about that myself because they I'll are to, green. We'll have to ask them if, if, I think I saw if something, they dress in orange for Lions games. No, or? I saw something on Twitter about the uh, about the Lions win the other week. So I I, I think they're just Vancouver fans. Yeah. You know, probably White Caps fans too or something like that. Anyways, um, let's move on. Uh, I don't even care to talk about Lockout Continues, LockoutSponsors.com. But anyways, whatever. Our show today, uh, look at that. We are already like nine minutes in. Thanks for listening through all that blabber already. Hopefully, That's pulled. pretty much the main content of our show. We, we hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you <laughs> next week when we're drinking beer. Yeah, no, and, uh, close but not quite. Uh, I wish because I don't want to talk about the lockout. Well, don't worry. We got stuff Although, to cover before that. Well, on that note. Okay. I, I think it's interesting to note that uh, was once again contacted by uh, a very reputable broadcasting reputable. company. Yeah, reputable. That's the word we're looking for. Yeah. No, nobody ever claimed that you were the educated one. 
No, I am smart. SMRT. Yeah, I was gonna say SMRT. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it was uh, potentially gonna be on uh, CTV News to talk about the lockout tomorrow. However, it came but... down that uh, <laughs> I got I got bumped for a little bit more noteworthy guest. I I don't know. I think you know, and it's kind of interesting. It would have been great if you could have been on with him. It would have been fun. because you know what we gotta see if at some point if we can get him he, on DHS. He man. would be a very interesting person to have on DHS for sure. Yeah. Anyways, this, right. this guy's been around for a long he, time. He's got his world. own three initial show. A little OTR. Yeah. 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 I was like yeah, PTI. So, I'm like so no, wrong show. I, I I get to say I got bumped by uh, Michael Landsberg. So bumped by Landsberg. Yeah. You know I, I'm I'm okay with that if I was gonna be in the same category of a guest as. Uh, where they wanted to fill in uh, Landsberg. I, I'm okay with getting bumped by him. For now. For now. Yeah. Yeah. A couple years. Uh, 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 right? Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So we're going to talk a little bit Winnipeg Jets. Not much there. Uh, affiliates, of course, St. John's, Ice Caps, Colorado Eagles. And um, we're going to touch briefly on the NHL. Um, and I'm going I'm to I'm I'm talk. And I'm just going to daze out. I'm gonna, yeah, exactly. Make sure the camera's on you for that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right, Winnipeg Jets news. Mittens is heading overseas. Oh, is he? Yeah, you, know you, you didn't know that one? No, you know what? Like I said... We got one going there, one coming back. Like I said, uh, my attention span for, for hockey right now is just waning on, on the professional so aspect. So you need beer is what you're saying. Uh, I need something to get me back in the game because it's just, I mean, yeah, you know what, there's talks going on and blah, 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 blah. And as funny as it was when I got that request for CTV and stuff, I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to have to do some little bit of research here and see what's actually going on right now because I've I've given up on the season. And, and I've honestly, I hate to say it, I hate to admit it, but I have. And like the interest level for me has just waned and I have fun doing this because I get to come here and annoy you and I get to entertain our listeners and that's why I still do this show right now because let's be honest it's certainly not to recap games no but you're also but the reason that we started this show and the reason that you actually do this show as well too and winnipegwhiteout.com etc is because you're a huge Jets fan and and that is that, that you is, know, no matter what's that gonna is happen never gonna with the season and that, that is gonna come back once it is. Constant. But until it does right now, it's I'm going through the motions some days when I look at stuff I'm like, oh, okay, there's a little bit of optimism here. Okay, this player was going there. Lock uh, <coughs> it, what drink? <laughs> Well, no, we need speaking of, we, speaking of yes. Okay, so we sent the tweet out there. But uh you know what? I know we've got some uh listeners out out there in the in the in the world of JHP. I mean, I know we've got some that have called in before. It's true. Uh, uh it hasn't happened recently. I don't know why. Well, you don't like talking to us anymore? So. Man, with an attitude like that, I wouldn't want to call either. <laughs> You don't, even, you don't even want me here right now. No, not usually. But you know what? Without you, then there, there'd be nothing to talk about because, well, me talking to myself, I do that enough already. And we don't Nobody, even listen to that. No, I don't even listen to I it. I do, right? bring, so. do bring, bring the listeners to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no. So, we obviously need another drinking game for next week. And I know Marshall's sitting over there a little bit scared of what I'll come up with this week. So why don't you help him out and send us a drinking game idea so that I don't have to come up with something evil again, like drinking every time we say lockout. No problem with that. We just don't actually end up saying lockout. We don't talk about the lockout next week. But anyways, good luck with that. I thought that would happen the first time. Well, apparently the amount that you don't want to talk about the lockout, it's kind of all you talk about. And we can't even follow the show notes that I actually spent time preparing. Which is why I don't follow the show notes. Yeah, (laughs) exactly. Hey, I'm giving the show some content, okay? Uh, Annoying rambling? Pretty much. Yeah, all right. Anyways, anti Mietnin moving. He's flying over seas, going to uh, Finland, back to the uh, Finnish Elite League. Back to um, his homeland. Yeah, back to his homeland. Uh, being reunited with his Jets teammate uh, from last season, Eric Fair. 
Um, coming the other way, Tobias Enstrom left his uh, his Red Bull team. I guess it doesn't give you wings, or maybe it does give you wings. <laughs> it gave him wings and he flew away, <laughs> and he ended up uh, flying back there. Anyway, cited as leaving for personal reasons. Um, a few players actually coming back from from overseas there. Well, speaking of uh, overseas, uh, let's guess we'll go recapping the uh, players that are still under Jets contract, what they're doing out there. I mean, we got the big Nick Antropov with 12 games played and a couple of goals and four assists and a plus one rating. Our boy, Vander Kane. Get some more game action, but uh, nothing on the sheet except... Uh, 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 a few more minuses, apparently. Yeah. Down to a minus six now. 11 games, one goal. Average ice time, 13 minutes and 35 seconds. Yeah. Um, obviously, he uh, hasn't been having the most successful time over in the KHL, but who, who really cares what he does over there? It's all about what he does in the Jets uniform. As long as he's a healthy man when he comes back, that is absolutely all that matters. Oh. And hopefully there's something for him to come back to. It would be nice to have a league still. Yeah. Or games to talk about. Mm-hmm. That's maybe, true. Maybe even a game to go to. Well, there are games that we can go to, but it, just I mean, not here. It, it would be really just fun. Jets games. It would be really fun to have like a drunk hockey show live from a bar. In a town that has an NHL team. When there's an NHL game on. You know what I think we should just do? We should just do a drunk hockey show beginning of next year from a pub in St. John's. I'm pretty sure that's a great idea. All right. We'll hey, figure that out. We'll get logistics. Will, will we'll Charlie that be 18 by then? No. Sorry, Charlie. I'm sorry, we can sneak him some. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> no, we can't. No, we can't. Drink uh, responsibly. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. Um, yada, yada, yada. Like say Ponikarovsky, 17 games played, three goals, seven assists, minus three still. I just fly through these a heck of a lot faster than you because, you know, you, you care. Do, well, no, <laughs> but you don't care. And the problem is that you want to get through it, but you just keep rambling on about anything and everything. So I try to find something I'm interested in. All right. Well, anyways. It's like changing the channel. It's just that you just keep coming back. All right. Yeah, ex <laughs> I, exactly. Man, you're like the cat that, you know, we got rid of and he just keeps coming back like nine lives or something. Hey, um, I do not smell nearly as bad as that thing. No, it's a good thing as well, too. Uh, Blake Wheeler, of course, uh, just over last week, uh, played in two games already. Um, no goals, one assist. He's sitting at a plus one, though, so good sign there. And, of course, our man between the pipes there, Andre the Giant, Pavlik. 14 games played, 3.52 goals against average, and an 896 safe percentage. Um, really no improvement, no change there. I mean, his goals his goals against average went from a 3.53 to a 3.52. Woo! -hoo! Yeah. So um, It's like the movement in the bargaining. It <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much. Uh, of course, some other players, too, that we've touched base on in the past, but uh, we know that uh, that guy over there doesn't like to talk about him. Uh, one thing I will mention, though, uh, Stapleton there sitting 24 games played, 11 goals, 7 assists. I'm kind of liking that guy, you know, but I mean... What, you didn't like him before? Well, what do you have against Stapleton? Huh? Have you seen my Stapleton? I, I have on OffsideGear.com. Uh, of course, the uh, tickets are still available for the two Winnipeg Jets players. Um, charity games that they've got going on there, the Goals for Dreams Hockey Challenge at the Max Bell Arena on November 17th. And, of course, the second annual Guns and Hoses game um, benefiting muscular dystrophy and families of SMA. That's on November 24th. Ladd and Stewart, of course, um, participating in both of those games. Uh, check out Boston Pizza no. for the... Uh, for the Goals for Dreams Hockey Challenge one, and uh, any police fire station, police station, fire station, or police credit union, and of course on the day or at the door on game day. All right, let's move all the way out to the Rock, or I guess let's come back to the Rock because we were overseas. Is that what it is now? Well, you went back to Winnipeg afterwards. So. All right, so then so we really got to get this figured out because it just seems to be a constant discussion point. I'm so not Where used to I'm not used to talking about overseas stuff. I mean, I know that I should be. Because it's been so long now that we've had the lockout going you know on. The NHL isn't back next season. That's it. We're going to do a drunk hockey show in Europe. I think we could probably do that. We'll, <laughs> we'll have to make sure we uh, we start out in style at, at October 1st. Well, 
it, it is funny because I know uh, when we do our drunk hockey show in March, I will be in Europe. Really? Why are you going to Europe? To play hockey on, <laughs> ironically enough. <laughs> hmm. All right. <coughs> I guess we'll have to figure that one out. Well, I'm sure I can uh, utilize a, a laptop and a webcam and I'll just have to drink European beer. Nobody wants to think about that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out when we get there. Um, all right, St. John's Ice Caps uh, sitting 5-6 right now. The, the time change could be interesting on that, though. But anyways. It would totally be interesting. <laughs> yeah, you'd be drinking at like 6 in the morning. Um, well, not quite. Uh, 1 in the morning. Better stay up at night. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, yeah, so. Already be a keg down. <laughs> no kidding. Um Ice Caps, uh, 10 points. They went 1-2 uh, and two over the past weekend. Of course, uh, those three games coming back-to-back-to-back, to back to back, though, uh, dropped down to 7th in the East, 3rd in, the, in their Atlantic division. Um, and uh, seems like the uh, Ice Caps are going in the wrong direction. I guess it's that uh, global warming stuff still. Starting to disappear going down in the, in the standings. No, not, maybe, make, not maybe, making sense to you? Maybe the hurricane blew them out. Yeah, Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, Carolina sucks. They're on the Carolina uh, Blues. Carolina Blues. Uh, of course, they uh, can't beat us this week because there's no games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, Carolina. Um, they're on the uh, they're on the back half of a five game road trip uh, oh. before starting a six game homestand. So oh. hopefully they can capitalize like the Jets did last year. On that note, I did find it kind of funny reading someone's Facebook status on on the the election. Oh, okay. It, it was pretty funny just because it was like I went to vote. And there wasn't a vote for hockey, so I picked Obama. I saw one where it was like, I'll vote for whoever uh, whoever brings hockey back. They should have been campaigning to end the lockout. They would have got a little bit more votes, at least in the northern states. Obama turned around and said, hey, we just got, you know, just get this done kind of thing. I think it was on like Letterman or Leno or something like that, right? But whatever, he's the president. He doesn't know anything. Not when it comes to hockey. No, no. Batman knows even less. It, U.S. presidents have a bad history with hockey. Here's the captain of the Detroit Red Wings, Steve Yeiser Kaiserman. Whatever it was that he pronounced it horribly wrong. It's Iserman. Iserman. You just call him Stevie Y. Detroit sucks, and I still know how to pronounce his name because he's a great captain. <laughs> nice. Um, upcoming games, two, four, five of them before our next Jets Hockey Podcast broadcast. Um Tomorrow night, Wednesday, November 7th, at uh, Manchester Monarchs, 8.30 Newfoundland time, followed up by a couple days uh, rest, not likely rest, but uh, hopefully Saturday, November 10th at uh, Hershey Bears, uh, 8.30 again, Newfoundland time. Then they finally head back home for those first three games of their sixth game. Homestand all time, 7.30 Newfoundland time. Friday, November 16th versus the Albany Devils, and a back-to-back there. Saturday, November 17th versus the uh, Devils. Again, go figure. And then uh, on Tuesday, so that'll actually be the night of our, our show, November 20th, versus the uh, Hamilton Bulldogs. And uh, Burmistroff there, yeah, not really doing anything except playing a couple more games. Uh, 11 games played, one goal, five assists, sitting at a, at a minus one right now. So, you know, um, at least he's out there. At least he's playing. He's, he's getting, he's getting some, some ice time. Well, he, you know, he's getting some ice time. So, you know, that's a good thing as, as well, too. So, um, I'm making you do the Eagle stuff. Uh, no. Really? Yeah. Okay. Fine. I, I need to check something here so you can do the Eagle stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Eagles are sitting. Haha. <laughs> this is why you don't want to do it. Three, four, O and two. Yeah, that's exactly why I refuse to do it as long as there's those O O O O O's at the end. Anyways, eight I'm now going to officially drop those. All right. Uh, they Every picked up, time. No. They picked up two straight wins uh, this uh, last week over the expansion San Francisco Bulls and uh, find themselves last in their division, uh, but sitting sixth in the Western Conference overall. They've got uh, three upcoming games this week, Wednesday, November 7th, Friday, November 9th, and Saturday, November 10th, all hosting the Utah Grizzlies at 7.05 Mountain Time. And now we're getting into the NHL news, which means I think this is probably where I'm also going to keep on talking. Um, Winter Classic, no shock, officially canceled. And uh, as someone I heard, uh, even when not playing, Toronto still loses a game. (laughs) That's funny. 
See, I told you it'd be funny, man. I knew that I could get you laughing at least at some point in there. Um, hey, yeah. After the U.S. Uh, won back in, uh, what was that? Uh, Lake Placid? Good Lord. It was in the 80s? I think it was 80. Two? I think it was 80. 80. Yeah, because it was 80, yeah. 84, 88. 84 yeah. Four was, was 80. L.A. Oh, well, that was summer, though. Well, yeah, they weren't alternating. They weren't alternating. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so uh, we do know miracles can happen. That was the, the long, drawn-out uh, comeback to you actually making me laugh. That You know what? I got some news. <laughs> you got news? <laughs> yeah. It's news that I care about. Okay. About the WHA. So it is hockey-related. Okay, this is a good thing. Yeah. So the Avco Cup... What, did they, like, unearth it from an urn or something like that? Well, kind of. The, the Avco Cup has finally found a home. It's, uh, of course, been bouncing around for a bit. I mean, um, they've got a version of it in the, the Hockey Hall of Fame, but the official one now is going to be in the brand-new Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame, located, of course, in the Sports Manitoba building in the Exchange District. Hey. It's a cup that Winnipeg won. Dude, were you even born? I was cheering from my dad's testicles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And who made who laugh? <laughs> you know, I hope, I would love it if your dad was one of those listeners right now, but thankfully, <laughs> thankfully, you, thankfully I know he very rarely <laughs> listens to it. Well, can you blame the guy? No, oh, he had uh, 20 some years of my rambling to listen. Well, I think he's done with it. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I've had 20 minutes. Our guests, our listeners have had almost half an hour, so hopefully they're not quite done with it yet because um, I am going to talk CBA. Um, yeah, no news to report other than that they kind of met, but no news. And, and you're not allowed to touch the Avco Cup, by the way. No touching. Why? Oily hands. Oh, because it'll fall apart? Yeah, I, I quote from the Winnipeg Free Press article here that I'm reading. Uh, even when you have clean hands, you still have oil on your hands, and you still leave fingerprints, particularly on metal. If you leave a fingerprint, the only way to get it off is to polish it, and when you polish metal, you take a little bit of metal off. Eventually, you get through the plating. It's one of those things you do in a museum. You generally don't touch things with your bare hands. They obviously haven't been to a museum with me. Clearly. It's fun. Don't touch, let's touch. Don't <laughs> touch, let's touch. Don't touch, let's touch. It's like at the zoo here it's where like they have climb signs and there's saying, kids all over it. You keep saying, don't interrupt, and I interrupt. I get it, I get it. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyways, um, is there anything else you want to talk about? No, I don't see any boogers. That's a good thing. Glad you did that off camera. Well, there, there's one thing that we should mention, I suppose. I didn't put it in the show notes. What is it? Well, it is November. Oh. Yeah, but I'm not shaving. Yeah, I know. You got, you got your I'm, lock-up beard going. I'm growing this thing out. You, yeah. you got your lock-up beard, and I, I have the lock-up <coughs> beard too, but I I did compromise. You know what? I'm going to cheat when it comes to November and not shave and start fresh because that would kill the lock-up beard that I have to go with. So the simple compromise is I got rid of this. And we're going a little 1920s, which is about the last time that hockey played and there was no one arguing about a contract. So I'm going, back to, I'm going back to the 1920s, and, and we're going with whatever you want to call this. I, I don't know the proper term for it. Well, because it comes up, if it, if it, if it wasn't If it stopped there, it'd be the mutton chops. If it wasn't connecting, you didn't like have the yeah. stash, then it'd be mutton chops. But there's a stash into but, it. But, yeah, I don't and know. It's a, it's a stash going up so I, I don't know what you'd call it but that's what I'm going with I don't know give us a call tell us tell us 855-321-JETS 855-321-5387 what do you want to what do you want to call that thing that Jeff has growing on his face yeah I, I'm sorry that this is in high disgusting definition disgusting doesn't count 
But you know what? You can definitely uh, let us know that as well. Or leave us a comment in the show notes there uh, at uh, jetshockeypodcast.com slash episode 39. Holy man, 39. I guarantee you Landsberg doesn't have this good of a mustache. No, you're right. Probably not. It's probably a good thing that CTV um, bumped you for Landsberg so that you know their viewers will actually watch. I bring in ratings. <laughs> yeah, for the other stations. Because people turn away. I bring in ratings. I crack myself up. Anyways, uh, do we have anything else we need to talk about now? Oh, I bring in ratings. Okay, you bring in some ratings. I'll give you that. Anything else we need to talk about? <coughs> By ratings. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to like start the music here shortly. Um, there's uh, um, a thing on your wall there. It's, it's kind of shelf-like. I, th- I think it's a shelf. <laughs> All right. Visit PCSN.TV <laughs> right now. It's live, finally. It's, of course, going to be uh, our new home of Jets Hockey Podcast. It's also the home of the Drunk Hockey Show there. Um, and just for the record, I haven't had a drink today. No, I know. Just you need to get some sleep. That is uh, definitely... I always need to get certain. sleep. I'm just like, what's sleep? Yeah. All right. Um, so what I did want to mention, though, with PCSN.TV, we are actually looking for some other shows to include there as well. Um, hockey-related shows. Um, if you happen to not know how to podcast like us, because we don't really know, um, speak for yourself. <laughs> one of uh, awesome. one of the guys that I know I get and rates. highly respect, a uh, guy by the name of Cliff Ravenscraft. He's the podcast answer man. He's running his next next podcasting A to Z. Uh, it's Z because he's American. Um, go to podcastinga2z.com. Um, and use hockey code or use promo code hockey to save a hundred bucks off that. He's got his next session starting uh, just a couple weeks from now on uh, Monday, November 26th. Um, tells you, goes through all the setup, all the artwork, all the audio stuff, the technical, the non technical stuff. We could see, probably see, learn a thing or three from him. You know how good I am? I'm doing a voice acting role this weekend. For what? A cartoon. Wow. Are you animating it yourself too? Nope. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. I'm a voice actor. Because yeah. I get ratings. Too bad you got bumped by Landsberg. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. Anyways. All right. Well, then, finally, with that, I can hit play on this. And I can interrupt you. Which means we have about a minute, minute and a half left. Which is more than enough time for me to bug you. Usually, and I don't have a lot to get through, but uh, check Which out the show notes. I should stop you because they don't actually time it right, and then you don't sit there with a whole bunch of music. We're like... Anyways, check out all the show notes at jetshockeypodcast.com slash episode 39. I'm going to include links to stuff we talked about in the show, including... I got an A. Including... A for awesome. Including that awesome video about understanding the lockout with beer. Um, as well... I Check out beer. Stitcher Radio, stitcher.com. Use uh, promo code Chats Hockey when signing up there. And, of course, find us in iTunes, Zoom, and BlackBerry. Leave us a rating, a comment. Uh, it helps out big time there, especially in iTunes. Tell your friends, tell your enemies. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, we definitely want you to, uh, as uh, that guy over there is indicating, uh, we want you to tune in next week for the Drunk Hockey Show, drunkhockeyshow.com. Check that out next Tuesday, November 13th, 7.30 Central Time. Start there. Thanks again to you, the listener, for uh, letting me do what I love to do. And that guy over there kind of as well, too. And our, and our partner, OffsideGear.com. Go get your gear right now. We want to hear your opinion about the show. We want to hear your opinion about the lockout and the Jets. Give us a call toll-free anytime. 855-321-JETS. 855 321 Five three eight seven. And I want to interrupt you. That for a guy second, over there. We I'm don't have the time. I'm doing it anyways. I'm saying go I'm Jets go. And I'm saying go, shows. Go Jets go. 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 I may be bumped by Landsberg, but I get good ratings. 
and now you can show your mo. Yeah, send us a picture of your mo. We want to see it. All right. Well, that show is done. And as usual, you annoy the crap out of me. Woo! Yay, Jeffrey! I win. Okay. And it's not the public shirt. No. No. I just played. What what do we do now? <laughs> um, we're done. Uh, so for our listeners uh, online, there I can see that you are listening based on the uh, man up there in the top corner there. Uh, we got some. Uh, so, anyways, we'll see you guys next week. DrunkHockeyShow.com. <laughs>